Good evening, beautiful people, and happy hump day. Our hashtag today is Wednesday vibes. I don't know what your vibes are because I was watching some, I was like going through some memes right before the show, and I am cracking up. So I am in a good mood. You know, like when you get like really annoyed and you're trying to get yourself back into a good mood, memes really work for, for you, or they should work for you because they work for me. But anyway, guys, let us know where you are watching us from on our SMS lines triple one triple four triple one for one shilling only. I am Joyce Minor. Yes, welcome everybody. How you doing? It's a beautiful. No, anyway, when? Wednesday. The Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, and it's Afro Wednesday. Was there a thing or a gig that was called Afro Wednesday? I'm not mm, sure. Was there? Was it an event or something? There was an event. I there was Afro sure. something. Yes, but hey, we are serving the Afro. I hope you're feeling fantastic. Welcome to the show. It's gonna be lit and hot at the same damn time. Afro kikuto zoni mama ye. I'm a figure in the building. It's your girl, Kush Tracy. Karibuni sana. Hola, everybody. Mkwaje, by the way. Mina takato kujiwa. Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. And, well, we have different hashtags. Me ni mejie kea yangu. Wellness Wednesday. And because of that, let me tell you why. Because May is Mental Awareness, Mental Health Awareness Month. And basically, it's a time for you to, it's a time for you to reflect and check on your mindset. Are you okay? And if you're not, what are you doing about it? We've, we've seen uh, celebrities talk about their mental health and how they actually and even are uh, on medication. Mm -hmm. A case study is uh, the former women rep. What was it? Shebesh. Shebesh, yes. Mm -hmm. Rachel Shebesh talked about it and said how she takes medication for it. So this is just an urge for me to tell you and remind you that you need to be okay. Because when you're okay here, everything, every, everywhere else will be fine. Also, a constant reminder that check your mindset twice as hard as you check your phone welcome to the show <laughs> i am nano witty that's a very good point you, you know, know if mental if mental health was something you could talk about as uh, as um often as you talk about memes and stuff you know people would not be suffering as much and i know i've said this before i've only said that like suicide is a selfish thing it comes from somewhere. By the time someone is getting to that point, they haven't gotten help. They haven't yeah. been able to talk to someone. You know, there's a lot of taboo behind being able to like talk about things. So that was like the final result of everything that they were going through. So let's normalize talking about it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I think I'm going to say, um, for you, it's a, it's a mental thing, mm. but also suicide is for the devil. It's trying to take you out before you get to achieve your best. You see the time you get to that point where you're feeling like, hey, nothing is working out. Manze ni mekwama, singi na kwangatu nile, you needed to just hold on kidogo and then everything else falls into place. Yeah. I mean, you just needed to like rethink your life and rethink the decisions you've made and rethink the choices you've made and maybe try and switch up a couple of things and maybe it will become better. Yeah. So don't go for suicide. Uh, that's true. You know, you yeah. got this. And just to add on to what Kusha said, it's just you taking the initiative to take care of your mental health when you're going through something you may probably not have a name for it and then you let it grow to something a and then that creates a monster in your head like as as soon as you can recognize the signs and symptoms of you not being okay that will be a healer for you because you will know this this one is affecting me and you're scared of going to that dark place so mm. at the end of the day you know if i am not feeling fine mm -hmm. i need to call someone yes. and or maybe talk to someone mm -hmm. and everyone has one trusted person and sometimes you may feel like you're burdening them but they are waiting for you don't 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 just stay there and just remember that it's darkest before dawn. Yes. So when it's about kupambazuka, that's when it's so dark and that's the point where you say, okay, what are the niende? But that's the point where you should be holding on, as as Kush said. Yes. And yeah. you do have a helpline, double one, double nine, if you mm -hmm. need to talk to anyone about anything. Absolutely. We strongly encourage it. Yes. Yeah. And you know how we start the show? It's time to serve the tea. Are you ready with your cups? It's time for Pop Spots. So yeah, I do have the first story and of which Simba Mwenyewe Kaguruma next leo alikuangana gurumia watu wa Forbes Africa. I think I did this story last week or was it this week? At this point, honestly, <laughs> easy week, Mr. Juangi. But we did the story on Popspot here on Chatspot. Woo, the rhyme. Ah! Anyway, yes, yeah, so this is what happened. Um, Diamond got so mad. You know, he was put, I think, at number, wait, was he number 15? God, I'm going to number 28. 23. Wait, oh, he was number 28. Oh, 28. Yes, it was at number 28. <laughs> so this list was actually, you know, um, 
putting guys um, according to how rich they are as African mm -hmm. musicians. Mm -hmm. And Diamond came to number 28. So what he did, he went on social media and he was like, you know, next time, Google me to know what I'm really worth of uh, before yeah. putting me on your stupid richest African musicians list. Okay? Hello. So you all know uh, Madame Boss Ali Kwanga, that is Akode, she was, I think... Was it top 15 I think or 10. something? Yeah, 11. she was somewhere. Yeah. Wait, let me 10. get. Uh, no, she was number 15. Mm. Oh, okay. Madame Boss was number 15 at $10 million. Mm. Sawa, sawa. Uh, Simba alikuanga mekwa at number 28 um, with $5.1 million. So it was so mad. Because mm -hmm. shanga I list. I like, really, you need to do your work. So that's what he said. Mm. And... You know, okay. sasa una just say list me like ni list pia. Ni sawa tu. But we, I think we say um some people rather hide what they have yeah. than for the whole world to know what you're worth actually. Mm -hmm. Sometimes unaweza patia ile kidogo watu wanajua kona do lakini unaweza finya. Unajua ile unanyonganga watu wajua kona pesa ngapi. You do that. So that people are not really up in your business. Of course taxes ndizo zinakungoza government inaanza kukuangalia umekuwa ukihepa hepa. So yeah, that's how he feels and I feel your list is stupid according to him. I mean, I always thought that Forbes is the one that like reaches out to you about your assets for them to put you on a list yeah. but clearly if he's complaining that they need to google him they did not reach out to him so guy, tell us how p being put on forbes whatever list when it comes to money how does it work because i'm confused i saw an article saying it was not the real forbes i don't know if it's oh, just cloud or it's someone that it wasn't created the real it forbes. but I saw an article I read about it and it was basically saying it wasn't Forbes. Oh, like yeah, okay. so crazy. Yeah, because in my mind, I always thought, because the reason why Kylie Jenner was like um, called Remote. out yeah. for not being a billionaire is because they went through like the things that she sent mm -hmm. to say, hey, look at me, I'm a billionaire. Okay, now, okay, it's, um, Make, I was right. At this point, I was right. Okay, triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS. But Mina Shanga, why are you so keen on wanting to validate yourself that mm. bad to the public that you'll be worried about, about a list? If you know you have that money, siniako. So to jue to si jue si ko tu sawa. Anyway, people have different ways of dealing with their issues. Let me go to the next story.